Hey, what's going on, my good people? In the case of Alicia Watts, they released a 911 call made by this lady right here, Gwen. And this is supposed to be Alicia's cousin. In this 911 call, we were given insight into Alicia's last days. So, this is the timeline. Let Gwen tell it. Come on, ride with me. She came up here on Friday. We were all supposed to meet, meet up on a Sunday to go to a comedy show up here in Charlotte. So Alicia went to Charlotte on July the 14th, that Friday. And it's safe to assume that this was a planned trip because she had tickets to go to the concert. And not only that, I'm sure they had plans to go to the mall. You know how it be. And what we do know for sure is that Alicia made it to James' house. Okay. But the other day when I came home, I was coming home from where we're actually from because we all actually not from Charlotte, but I live here. I've been living here nine years. And um, when I came home, it was this car pulling out, and it like it was like hit trying to run and hit me like head on. You know, it was you know kind of driving real aggressive, and I had to hurry up and back in my yard yeah. to not get hit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that just seems funny, and I don't have a problem with everybody, you know. So I was like, but I do know his girlfriend knows, his ex-girlfriend knows that that is my cousin. So on Saturday, July the 15th, Gwen said that somebody had pulled out and was driving aggressively. And I was like, pulled out of where? Out of James' house? Because that's what it sounded like to me. Now, she's claiming that she don't know who it was, but she alluded to the fact that it may be James' girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. I wonder if Alicia Carr was there at that time. Were they home when she saw that car? Hmm? I've seen them leaving out. I guess they were going to get them something to eat, but this is before, you know, this was earlier... Sunday morning when I was on my way out to church and um, I seen them leaving out and but I didn't then she came back when I got off church I seen her car parked back there so on Sunday before Gwen left for church she seen Alicia and James leaving out together and they had to have been in Alicia's car because she said that when she got back from church she, she seen that Alicia's car was parked back over there so they left out together and came back. Now, we don't know what time they came back, but at some point, they should have been preparing for the show. She paid for tickets, and we all paid for tickets. Okay, she didn't show up at the comedy show. When I got back home, her car was still parked in his yard. And, you know, uh, this is my first cousin. You know, she's kind of outgoing. She don't fit like that. Right. And, um... And once her car was parked in the yard, I thought that was funny with her, you know, not showing up. Now, this was Sunday. They purchased tickets to go see that comedy show at Bojangles Coliseum. And they went to see that 85 South tour with Chico Bean, DC Young Fly, and Carlos Miller. And we know that that show started at 7 p.m. And not only that, Bojangles Coliseum is 20 minutes away from James' house. Now, I'm sure Gwen was blowing up her phone. Hell, probably even went over there. I would have. Because they were supposed to go together. But she hadn't heard from Alicia. And Gwen went on to the show. And when Gwen got back, Alicia's car was still parked there. Her car was there all day Sunday after they got back from wherever they went earlier. Him and her. Her car was parked there all day Sunday. Now, she said that Alicia's car was parked there all day on Sunday. But what about the Audi? Was the Audi parked there all day? And Monday, her car was still parked there. And I know she goes to work because she run a business. So that was kind of awkward. But I said, maybe, you know, somebody you in love, you staying over or whatever. But um, come to find out, uh, when her car left, it was wee hours that Monday morning. It was after 12 a.m. 
Now, Alicia didn't miss work on Monday. And Gwen said that car was there all day. And when she noticed the car was gone, it was after midnight going into Tuesday. And I came out because I, I don't smoke cigarettes in my house. So when I came out and looked across the street, her car was gone. So I said she must have went on back home. You know, that's what I was thinking. Alicia never made it home. And later on that day, Alicia's SUV, her Mercedes, was found parked at the DMV in Polkton County. This DMV is almost an hour away from James' house. The police approached the car for the first time, and James told them that he was taking a nap. And then some time went past, and that night they approached that car again. And what they found was James unresponsive. And they transported him to the hospital with an apparent suicide attempt. So they found the car, but Alicia was not in it. Hmm? On Wednesday, July the 19th, Alicia's father filed an animal complaint with the Fox Fire Village Police Department due to the worry that Alicia's dog was home alone for several days. The police entered to check on her dog and found that Alicia was not there. Sometime on July the 19th, there's this incident report that tells us that Gwen called 911 at approximately 4.42 p.m. that afternoon, and she called to report Alicia missing from James' house. They're saying she never showed back up at home, and now today is Wednesday. Okay. And she's not back at home. I'm calling his phone because he normally picks up his phone, and she's never a person not pick up the phone due to her business. Okay. Nobody's picking up the phone. No answer is going straight to voicemail. I went over and knocked on his door. I can hear his dog in there because he has dogs, and she has dogs. And, and then her best friend back at home said that she went to her house and there's no sign of her even being there. CMPD says it found a shell casing in the street near Watts' boyfriend's house on July 20th, just one day after she was reported missing. Investigators say it belonged to a 9mm handgun. This is the same house where Watts was last seen. We are following every development in this case. We will update you as we learn more. By Monday, July 24th, Alicia had been missing for eight days. Eight days. And now, on, just, on July the 24th, CMPD is asking the public for help in finding her. So, why did it take eight days? And where was James during this time? Did something happen in his house? It seems like a lot was going on within those eight days. A lot. Um, we also, because we do have um, factual knowledge that James Dunmore's sister had been entering in and out his house after um, she was reported missing. And we want to know about that too. How is she able to go in and out of the house of a missing person? Because that's all we know, he's missing. So, yeah, it's a crime scene. So how is she able to enter in and out of the house and take stuff out of the house? How is she able to do all of these things and they're still not telling us anything? On Wednesday, July 26, CMPD signed an application for a search warrant. They wanted to search James' house and that Audi that we saw sitting in the driveway. I wonder where that Audi comes into play. While they were trying to get a search warrant, Alicia's family held their first press conference. This is a sad occasion, and we want to offer prayer for the family and friends first. So we all bow our heads, please. Father God, we thank you. When we thank you for life, Father God. We thank you for the people that came near and far who love Alicia and want to see her well-being. Father God, we ask you for 
an answer. We need an answer for this family. Father God, we need an answer for her friends. Shortly after the press conference, police were seen searching James' house. Wednesday night, that fine-toothed comb led CMPD to search this house on Pamela Lorraine Drive, the place they believe she was last seen alive. Utley says the home belongs to the sister of Watts' boyfriend. She's hoping there's something inside that will lead the police to find her. As of today, August the 22nd, they still have not found Alicia. It's been over a month, and they still haven't found her. Because understand this, from, from the time that Alicia's car was moved from that, that driveway up until they found James at the DMV, he had at least 12 hours to do whatever it was he was going to do. At least 12 hours. That's a lot of time, y'all. So what other questions do you have about the timeline? I mean, I, I still have questions, you know, like, when did they go to the mall? We don't have a timestamp on that to put on the timeline. When did they go to the mall? And then, not only that, who was this person that was, was driving all crazy that Gwen seen on Saturday? She alluded to James having a, a, a crazy ex-girlfriend. And that could be the case, you know? It could have been her. But what if it was somebody connected to Alicia? You know, did she have multiple boyfriends? Did You know, was she seeing somebody else? It's just still so many questions and not enough answers. Only thing we ask is if anybody know anything or if they've seen her or seen a glimpse, anything, any clue. She's not just a missing person. She's an important person to all of us. She's a daughter. She's a sister. She's an aunt. She's a best friend. She's a business owner. She's involved in several organizations in our community. She's a person with a huge heart who would do anything for anybody, a stranger or anybody that she knows.